Hi, I am Andres Eichstadt, Creative Director for Staging Studio, and today I want to give you a few paint tips from my own home in Providence, Rhode Island. We uh, bought this home a couple of months ago, um, and it's a historic home from the 1850s. It was built before electricity, so it's a little bit darker. This room has so much trim in it. There's trim, all the huge trim all the way around the ceiling. We have two fireplaces. Um, we have some built-in bookshelves. So we can really afford to go darker on the walls because of the contrast that all of the white trim will give us. We're of course gonna paint the ceiling white as well. Right now it kind of feels dark, dingy, dirty because the paint is kind of a more muted color. But since we're gonna go darker on the walls and lighter on the trim with a greater contrast, we're gonna see that the room is going to really brighten up. I was really inspired this year by Sherwin-Williams Design Trend Color of the Year, Oceanside. It's a blue color. So I wanna put a dark, rich blue in this room. If I were to put it up against this wall, even if I were to put it all the way up against the trim and cover up some of the orange, fleshy color on the wall, it would still be next to this yellow, dirtier colored trim, and um, those two colors next to each other would just not give me a true reading on what the color is gonna look like in the room when the whole thing is done and I have white trim up. So, paint tip for you. Instead of putting um, your new color selections right up against the existing paint, paint some um, white, you can just use primer if you want. You're gonna probably prime the walls anyway. So go ahead and put a pretty decent size white primer down um, so you can get a true reading of what the color is gonna look like. Another tip is to always tag your paint colors because you know, one day you think, I'm gonna get after that this weekend and then it ends up sitting on your wall and you forget and the cans get moved around because your kids move them. And Anyway, so make sure that you always All Sherwin-Williams colors, rain, ink, superior blue, and loyal. So since I painted the white underneath, and I actually don't think that I used primer on this, I think I had some extra high reflective white that we are gonna use on the trim, and I just slapped that on underneath it. Um, it's a great true white that I do recommend for your trim. I'd love to get your ideas on which color I should go with. Is it loyal, superior blue, inked, or rain? So leave me a comment, tell me which one I should go with, and I'll uh, be sure to send you pictures of the big reveal.